Hello, Ponzi coders. All right, we're going to finish up uh, at least the first part of the app uh, today in this video or a couple of videos. Um, just to review, we've now gone through and we uh, have, through the API, grabbed um, the CSV file and put all of that information which is the symbol the uh, the last stock price and the percentage in this string variable stock text um, so now we need to parse uh, the file and then place uh, the data that we want in symbol out, price out, and the change percentage out. So let's start doing that. So the first thing we need to do is uh, go through and create an array. You do that by putting in string with the brackets. And I'm going to call this array tokens and we're going to use our stock text variable um, we're going to make that equal and say we're going to split into uh, into individual uh, pieces of the array and since this is a common delimited file uh, the, the parameter we're going to pass is the comma alright so this gets us to um, to put all those or to put those three elements into uh, an array once we've done that we want to create yet another string variable and there's probably a uh, if you refactor this code there's more efficient ways to do this but they're not going to be as readable so that is why I am doing it this way so let's go through this so stock symbol now is token zero you uh, remember with arrays um, the first element of an array is zero not one so now we've got uh, the stock symbol in uh, this token zero and we can just go through and do the same for stock price we'll do that as tokens one and the third is the stock change percentage is equal to tokens 2. Now, do not confuse these uh, string variables um, with these variables. Um, these are actually reference variables, they're text views. Uh, that point to our UI elements and this series of uh, string variables is really just used uh, for parsing so we've taken the uh, stock text um, we put it into an array we've broken out and split each of uh, the elements that were common delimited into uh, different elements and now uh, the first element which is the symbol has uh, quotes around it we need to get rid of those quotes we do that by you guessed it creating another string variable and this time we're setting it equal to the stock symbol dot and we're using a new method called substring and we'll go over that in just a second. Let's see, is it length? Something like that. Uh, let's 
say minus one. All right. If I could learn to type, that would be good too. Nope, that's not it. I want a parentheses. Okay, so let's see if we can make this bigger here. Uh, by getting rid of that, maybe. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There we go. Okay, so let's go over what uh, and how this method works. So stock symbol substring is saying um, on the left hand side of whatever your what whatever you have, which right now is this. It's a quote G O O G. So we need to get rid of this quote and this quote. So it's saying uh, start one over and then grab everything until you get to the end which is the stock symbol length and then go back one so negative one so it's going to grab the G-O-O-G -O -O and assign that uh, and initialize that variable f stock symbol it's going to put that uh, it's going to put that in there okay the stock price oddly enough does not have quotes around it but the stock uh, percentage uh, does so we're going to do f stock change percentage is equal to uh, stock change percentage dot substring and it's going to start with one stock change percentage dot substring um, and after I played around with this uh, for whatever reason, we're going to come in. Uh, we're going to come in three spaces. The reason for that is uh, here. Let me see where I can cut this off here. Let's just do it there so it's we can read it um, and what did I do wrong here substring no this is length okay so um, to get the percentage uh, we're actually coming in three uh, three spaces from the right all right so now we've got uh, essentially all three of our variables and now we just need to assign them uh, or put them into the UI and the way you do that is let's go up here and say symbol out we're going to copy that bring it down here let's say symbol out dot set text so that is um, the method to set the text of our symbol out UI piece and uh, we want to set it to stock symbol and so let's just go down the line we want our price out we're going to set that text and we want to set that to F stock change percentage all right and I misspelled something here let's see stock change percentage f stop person with not three G's there that works better okay let's go ahead and save that 
and finally we're going to do our percentage out uh, and I'm going to totally confuse you because I absolutely got that wrong actually this variable is what we want to put in here and this doesn't have an F because the price um, the price did not come with quotes okay so let me put semicolon there and I think keeping my fingers crossed I think we've got it okay let's see uh, if it works Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna click the get quote. So there you go. You get the symbol, the price, uh, and the percentage gain at least for today. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, what we're gonna move on to, to do in the next series of videos is instead of uh, hard coding to a particular symbol we're gonna let you put a symbol in click get quote uh, and get the uh, get very similar information all right see you in the next video